Hey guys, we're back in here for another video. It's playing around with the track, with the train, the railroad pieces, I should say. And I got a combination that's going to work. As you can see, let me hold this up. Step back. So, I completed the loop. That's going to work out. Got the track pieces right. Couldn't remember how I had it before. Then I found these little short pieces. And there you have it. So I put a six inch curve here, another one there, and a little, I guess that's a four inch straight. Just a regular nine inch straight, but it fit. I'm also going to have to hand paint some of these track pieces, like this 12 inch here. So it's going to, I think it's going to look good once everything is painted up. Half of the stuff is going to have to be hand painted because they don't have 12 inch curves with the road markings or the three inch, which it's a little bit of short sightedness on AW's part, but I guess that's part of modeling, you gotta do it yourself sometimes. So that's gonna work. Just playing around with the turf here. Let's see what it looks like. Looks good on top of the brown. So I'm gonna finish that off. So I'm getting there guys, slowly but surely. You know, I don't have a lot of time because I don't live here. I just stop in for an hour or so and do a little something, something. That's it for this update. I'm not running cars today because I don't like how they run once they get to this portion of the track. So, got to play around with that. Plus, I'm just using the Auto World terminal track. I want to switch that out to one of those uh, fancy smancy ones that you guys use. And so I can use this power supply. So that's it for today, guys. Please like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you fellas in the next video.